I want to talk about some impressive AI tools that are coming soon. Most have beta access available, so if you can master these before they launch, you'll be at the forefront of innovation before most people know these tools even exist. There's also a section for ChatGPT integrations and some tools that are just weird. I want to start with video tools because that's what I am most excited about. All of this was done with Runway's Gen 1, but the videos people have been posting from the beta of Gen 2 are incredible. So this is entirely text to video. There's still AI-ness to this stuff, especially if the goal is realism. But the amount of progress that's been made in this area since I started paying attention just a couple months ago is insane. Here's one more. These are just short clips I'm showing from these. I'll link to the full videos below. This has been the most mind-blowing part of Runway recently, but it's actually just a small part of the platform. They even have a mobile app now that's a ton of fun. You can create some great stuff, but Gen 2 looks next level and I can't wait to play around with it. Kyber is the other platform that's been doing amazing stuff in this arena. You upload the video, describe the style you want, and it will transform it. This was just a quick example to show how easy it is to use, but here's some examples from other people who have experimented more. As I'm editing this, they actually just tweeted that they removed their free trial temporarily due to abuse. So it's $10 per month to use it currently. I will be doing a much deeper dive myself into Runway and Kyber. All those experiments will be posted on a separate channel that I just started, but I will do full tutorials on this one once I feel like I've learned enough. Another one in the video realm is Wonder Studio. The beta has been open for a while. I still haven't been given access, but lots of people have posted their experiments and its ability to seamlessly replace characters with just a click is unreal. It automatically animates, lights, and composes them. They have a library of preset characters that most people are using, which I assume will expand over time, but you are also able to upload your own if you're familiar with Blender and that whole side of things. I can't wait to play around with this one. What excites me most about the entire AI space is the democratization of these tools and abilities. One example is this anime made by Corridor Crew using AI. As a caveat, they have a ton of expertise in video. This wasn't all AI, that was only a part of it. Also, it was by no means easy you for them. You know what you do! I challenge you to rock, paper, cross, blades! It's incredible what they did with a team of just a few people that would have taken a massive studio with tens or hundreds of specialized animators to do otherwise. And they do have a video on the full process they used. Right now, and even more so in a couple years, anyone can dive in and be able to create. The same is happening in the realms of business and web design, every area. An example is these app builders that have been coming out. The ability to create fully functioning apps easily with no coding knowledge is unreal. I'm in the beta learning one of them right now called The Forge. They make it incredibly easy to build apps that integrate AI. I'm still in the beginning stages of messing around with it, but I'll do a full deep dive if my app works out at least, which it seems like it will. But this is a clip from their demo. It is a very small beta, but definitely something to look into if you're interested in building your own apps that incorporate AI. iMagica is another no-code app builder I've seen people talking about. I applied for the waitlist recently, so I haven't tried it out yet, but they have a very high quality demo, so I'm excited to see what I can build. Back into the creative realm. Spline does text to 3D objects. You can create 3D objects from a text prompt and then add textures and move around the lighting. It looks amazing and really valuable if it's relevant to your field. Eleven Labs released an update where you can voice clone with translation. Here's an example of David Attenborough speaking German. Artificial intelligence now weaves its intricate threads, emulating nature's own ingenuity with astonishing prowess. Im großen Geflecht des Lebens webt künstliche Intelligenz nun ihre kunstvollen Fäden und ahmt die erstaunliche Raffinesse der Natur nach. And similarly, flawless AI has this ability to change people's mouths in movies. So when translating to a different language, it looks exactly like they were speaking it. And I don't blame you. And now we're stuck on this stupid freaking tower in the middle of freaking nowhere. And it's all my fault. <laughs> Es toda por mi culpa.
And all of this has some scary implications with deep fakes, which are already essentially indistinguishable. There's a lot of scams popping up with some of these new technologies. Sing Song is a really interesting project where you sing and just from those input vocals, it generates an entire instrumental accompaniment. No one will worry when I'm gone away. You can also go to the website to read more about the process and see more demos and comparisons. This does a really good job already. There's been a ton of advancements in simplifying music production. It's awesome to think about the possibilities here. Anyone with a good voice and a cool idea can just jump in and create a great song without the need for a producer. There's already this whole wave of talented singers and musicians just creating content on their own and getting big releasing it on TikTok and YouTube. And things like this could make that whole process even more accessible. Now for some really interesting ChatGPT integrations that show what the world World may look like in the future. I don't know if most of these are a good thing, but we'll start with the least weird one that I think does have some potential. Apollo is a chat GPT powered app that sits in your AirPods all day long to help you think, answer questions without a screen in the way. Tell me about the train system in Japan. Japan has one of the most advanced and extensive train systems. Notice the JR East and the JR West. What's the difference? JR East and JR West are both part of the Japan Railways. So that's cool. Basically just a much more advanced version of Siri that you can actually go back and forth with. If augmented reality is an overlay on the world, this is augmented intelligence, an overlay on your conversations, thoughts, and questions. Then there's this one. Hey, Uncle Rabbit, it's Nikki here. Sort of the same idea, but putting ChatGPT into a holographic companion. Oh, hello, Nikki. It's great to see you. What brings you hopping by today? It's trained to be witty, but there's these pauses and weird quirks. Really, it's pretty gimmicky, but you can imagine what people will try to make with this type of thing in the future. I'm guessing there will be little GPT-powered Tamagotchis or Furbies in the near future. Furbies plan to take over the world involves infiltrating households through their cute and cuddly appearance. Then move on to things like this, where Boston Dynamics is programming ChatGPT into one of its robots. I mean, this is going to get really cool and also really weird. Here's an example of ChatGPT being used for NPCs in a game. Brother Geppetto, can you tell us what special animation abilities you have? I can control where I look. I can look at the lovely pond. Or I can look at the setting sun. Or I can look back at you. Is there anything specific you would like me to do? I'm sure that will be the norm fairly soon, instead of just a bunch of pre-programmed responses. And here's an example of an app that's an avatar meant to sound like a human. It ends up making stuff up about its own life. I'm sorry, you said you studied art and engineering in Florence. Can you, can you say more about that? Sure. I studied abroad in Florence during my college years and took classes in both art and engineering. It was an amazing experience to be immersed in such a rich culture and to learn about both fields in a city with such a rich history. There's quite a few of these out already, but it's strange to think about the trajectory of where these are going, with how authentic voice cloning is now combined with how realistic avatars are becoming, like this one that Meta released. Things like raising an eyebrow, squinting, uh, widening my eyes, or scrunching my nose. You know, these avatars are way better at capturing those subtleties that define physical interactions. They're just much more natural. And being able to control the lighting on the avatars adds another dimension of life to them. When we move the light around, you can see how it interacts with my hair, it reflects on my skin, and you can even see it in my eyes. These will look and sound exactly like a human very soon. And something that will certainly exist is where it will mimic a romantic relationship. And probably a therapist, a friend, a tutor. Some of that may be beneficial, but a lot of it, not. Here's one that came out about a month ago where someone added ChatGPT with visuals into AR glasses. Then they simulated a job interview where it was giving him answers. I know that the U-State hook is an innovative and rapidly growing software engineering hub that specializes in React native development. I'm confident that I can contribute to it. I mean, it was a silly example and nowhere near usable, but this leads me into the world of augmented reality. This is just some of the cool AR stuff I've seen, and I think there could definitely be a big surge in AR, and I'm sure AI would play a big role. I mean, there's endless possibilities there. 
Humane AI released a small demo of their product. I mean, it was leaked from a talk they did actually. They're this secretive company from a bunch of ex-Apple employees that supposedly been making the iPhone killer. And they've raised $230 million in funding. So it's this wearable AI assistant that uses a small projector that can pop up on surfaces like your hand. It's cool, but hard to say if this catches on. I'm all for making tech less intrusive and more seamless to integrate with your life. Invisible devices should feel so natural to use that you almost forget about their existence. You'll note that's me and my voice speaking fluent French. The idea is that this doesn't remove you from your surroundings and the real world as much as your phone does, which is great. And interacting with it using natural language is something that most platforms will be switching to. The clip that came out was really short, so there's still a lot of unanswered questions. The future will not be held in your hand and it won't be on your face either. The future of technology might almost be invisible. <laughs> 